Welcome to the talk. My name is Hai Nguyen. I'm going to talk about liquid resilience of the shamir silicon schemes against physical bit leakages. We see a joint work with Maji, Anat, Tom, and Minghua. So let me start with the notion of liquid resilient secret sharing. In a classical setting, a shattered dealer takes a secret S and samples n random secrets S1, S2, Sn. The security guarantees that any unauthorized set of shares reveals no information about the secret. What if an adversary leaks partial information from every share? For example, it leaks one bit bi from every share si. Is the secret still hidden given the leakage? In other words, is the joint distributions of the leakages B1, B2 to Bn uncreated with the secret S. So uh, a secret sharing scheme is liquid resilience if the secret remains hidden. So why are we interested in liquid resilience secret sharing? In fact, liquid resilience secret sharing uh, is a very useful primitive. It has connection to many other fields. For example, it is related to the fascinating problem of repairing error coding codes. In this problem, the so main objective is to learn minimum information from each share so that the secret can be fully reconstructed using uh, the given information. In principle, if you are able to fully reconstruct the secret, then the secret sharing scheme is not liquid resilient. On the other hand, it might be the case that you can't fully reconstruct the secret, but the secret sharing scheme is still not liquid resilient. If the liquid is reveal some information about the secret S. Uh, liquid resilient secret sharing uh, has been used at building blocks for secure multi-party computation protocols that are resilient to local liquid attacks. It also uh, means ill as building blocks for other primitives, for example, uh, non malleable secret shape. Uh, since the introductions, there have been two prominent research directions on liquid resilient secret shape. The first direction is to construct new secret sharing schemes that are liquid resilient. So there have been a lot of uh, fascinating work that focus on constructing um, new secret sharing schemes that is resilient to very um, sophisticated liquid attacks. However, these constructions usually incur significant overheads and it can lose the um, algebraic structure. For example, it can lose the uh, linearity structure. And sometimes uh, the linearity is very important in applications. That's why they and other live work that studies the um, liquid resilience of prominent secret sharing schemes like the additive secret sharing schemes or the Shamir secret sharing scheme. And uh, this have a uh, significant impact on the real world implementations. Uh, our works belong to this line of research. And uh, next, let me introduce the context of our work before discussing uh, the main results. We study liquid resilience of Shamir secret sharing scheme. So how does semi secret sharing scheme work? Uh, for a given secret S, it picks a random polynomial of degree at most k minus one, so that the evolution plays at zero equal to S, as you can see in the picture here. And the shares are evolutions of the polynomial at n distinct uh, places, x1, x2, xn. And you need uh, at least k shares to reconstruct the secret. And any less than k shares 
gives no information about the secret X. And in our work, we consider Shamir's secret sharing scheme with random evaluation places. What I mean is that X1, X2, Xn are chosen uniformly at random. For the liquid model, we consider physical bit leakage. So all the shares are stored in their binary representations. For example, if the prime field of size 31, and if the shares is six, and we will store 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And if the a share is 19, then we store 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The liquid function may learn the physical bits of the shares. For example, the least sequence bit leakage of 19 is 1. So with this uh, in mind, let me uh, discuss our main results. So the first result is a feasibility result. Let lambda be the security parameter. Um, let us assume that every secret stress is an element from a prime field F, where the size of the field F is uh, roughly 2 to the power of lambda. Let n be the number of parties, and that case is the reconstruction tester. And we assume that n bits are linked from every shape. So our results say that with overwhelming probability, the Shamir secret sharing scheme is a local liquid resilience, as long as the total amount of leakage is less than the entropy is introduced by the scheme. Here's the total amount of leakage is m times n. Because there are n parties and each of them leaks m bit from the shares. And the total entropy is k times lambda, since uh, each share has number bits. And we need exactly k shares to reconstruct the secret. And here we note that the probabilities is taken over the random choices of uh, evaluation places. So it means that most of, uh, for most of evaluation places, the corresponding Shamir series rank schemes is uh, liquid resilience. However, uh, for some evaluation places, uh, it is not liquid resilience. So our result hope for any reconstruction test of K that is greater than or equal to two. And here I want to emphasize that all the previous results uh, requires the reconstruction test hold to be large. Okay. So our result enables liquid resilience of secure multiparty computations uh, using um, GMW stack. So to complement um, the first result, the first result, we propose a new physical bit liquid attacks. Okay. So we show that um, when the evaluation places are chosen badly, the secret, uh, the Shamir secret sharing scheme is not liquid resilience from a uh, small reconstruction vessel. Okay. So we uh, name our attacks as parity of parity attacks. It lists the least equivalent bit of each share, and then it computes a bit B as a parity of the XR of all the linked bits. And this is a prediction uh, for the secret. And we show that um, the advantage is low bounded by the frequencies of the agreed whole distributions at P tends to infinity. And we also prove that uh, the advantage is constant if the reconstruction test hope is small. Uh, in a follow up work, uh, Adam et al. proved that the advantage is uh, at least one by k factorial for any reconstruction test of K. Also in an ongoing work, we show that uh, in fact, it is exponentially small in K. And this is asymptotically optimal when um, the number of parties is equal to the reconstruction threshold. 
because it matches with the upper bound in the BDIR paper. It also worth to mention that in the BDI paper, they put that one main leak, one bit general leakage to get an advantage of K to C power of uh, minus K. Here, uh, it requires that the liquid functions be uh, general in not a physical bit. And next, let me position our feasibility result with the Crowley's related work. So PDI uh, showed that the semi circuit sharing with any evaluation places is ambit liquid resilience as long as the um, reconstruction threshold is large enough. Okay. And when m equal to one, um, the cons as a um, parameter delta m equal to 0.85. And it is liquid resilience against general leakage. Uh, in another work um, by Maji et al, they show that the machine shielding strength scheme corresponding to a random linear code is uh, liquid resilience as long as the reconstruction threshold is at least half the number of parties. And this also again, the liquid functions, but here um, the constructions are randomized constructions. It is uh, uh, different from the BDIR result. For BDIR, it is a deterministic construction. For our work, we also have a randomized construction, but it is for the Shamir secret sharing scheme. And we consider more restricted um, uh, liquid family. Okay. But we can show that. Uh, it is liquid resilience for any k that is greater than or equal to two, and it requires uh, and the number of parties only poly in the security parameters. Okay. And for the rest of the talk, um, I will discuss the technical ideas for our paper. First, I uh, I will talk about um, the main technical uh, the main technical idea for the feasibility results. Here is a, and let me recall the, the feasibility results. We say that if the total, uh, we prove that if the total amount of leakage is less than the entropy, and uh, then the shammy sequencing scheme is a uh, leakage resilience with very high probability. So to prove this, we do the following reductions. First, we suppose that uh, we can prove that for any leakage functions, for any two secrets. The advantage is small over randomly chosen evaluation places. And with these assumptions um, by an uh, by a union bow on the liquid functions, uh, we can show that most evaluation places give local liquid resilience shammy circuit same scheme. So the second step here is uh, quite simple. So um, for the rest, uh, we will be focusing on the first item here. We want to up about um, the distinguished advantage. And here's an overview of uh, how to uh, bound in, uh, how to bow this advantage. So we follow the standard Fourier analysis approach as in the PDI paper. However, we encounter some bottlenecks. To overcome these bottlenecks, we utilize the randomness of uh, evaluation places uh, so that we can reduce the problem to uh, two problems. Uh, so problem A, we need a tight estimation of an exponential sum. And for this, uh, problem B, uh, we need upper bound on the number of solutions of a system of equations. So I will discuss in more details about these two problems in the next slides. So for the first problem, suppose the liquid functions is a, a list is a least frequent bit leakage. And suppose also that the observed leakage is zero. Then the winning sets is the standard or even number 
from zero to p minus one. Okay. Why? Because uh, this number, uh, the next sequence bit of this number is zero. Okay. So we are interested in upper bounding uh, this sum. So intuitively, this is the L1 uh, Fourier norm of the indicator of the indicator function of the set X. So uh, our key observations is that a Guinness set can be represented as a disjoint union of a small number of bank two uh, proper generalized arithmetic progressions. And here I want to uh, emphasize that uh, this is true for any uh, physical bit liquid function, not only the nissipian bit that uh, we mentioned here. So for example, um, for the set 8, 9, 12, and 13, they see a rank to um, generalize arithmetic progressions. And it is the winning sense for the second least significant bit fixed to zero when the, the side of the, uh, the fields is 29. So with the this key um, observations, it suffices to bounding the L1 Fourier norm of um, rank two generalized arithmetic progressions. And we show that uh, the L1 norm, uh, the L1 Fourier norm of the rank two graph is bounded by this quantity. And for the second problems, uh, we need about on the uh, the number of solution of a system of equations. So we fix some alpha, uh, we fix some vector alpha, and we consider the following system of equations. That's the product of this matrix with this uh, vector alpha equal to vector zero. And we are interested in how many solution x for these equations. Okay. So intuitively, uh, we fix some vector alpha and we are interested in counting how many dual codes that are um, the dual of the code generated as uh, generated by this matrix contains the vector alpha. So um, to bound the number of the solutions, we employ a special variance of the Bezos theorem over a finite field. And we prove that the number of solutions is at most k factorial. Okay. Yeah, one interesting thing to observe is that if there is a solution, then it's easy to say that uh, it's easy to see that there are at least k factorial solutions. Why? Because any permutation of these solutions is also uh, a solution. So we also and our result also up above this by uh, k factorial. So uh, by solving these two problems, uh, we can prove our feasibility results. Okay. Uh, for the rest of the talk, I will be discussing the technical ideas for our attack. So recall that our main objective is to show that the semi secrecy as uh, a semi secret, uh, secret science scheme is not liquid resilience um, when the evaluation places are chosen badly uh, for a small value of um, uh, k, where k is the reconstruction threshold. So we consider a semi secret science scheme with the number of parties e is equal to the reconstruction threshold over a prime field f. And we suppose that the size of the fields is equal to one uh, modular k. So uh, we let alpha, alpha square, and alpha k to be all the k primitive growth of the unity. In other words, it is the uh, solutions of the of these equations, and we consider k distinct evaluation places x1 equal to alpha, x2 equal to alpha square, and xk equal to alpha divided k. We will show that 
these evaluation places are the back uh, evaluation place. So first observe that. So some of the evaluations as x1, x2 to xk equal to k times s for any polynomial p. And so liquid functions like the least significant bits of the shares s1, s2 to sk. We show that the parity of parity attacks predicts the least significant bits of the uh, ks with constant advantage for some particular secret s. Why uh, we can observe that um, the advantage is zero or um, statistically close to zero for a random secret S. So by an averaging argument, um, we can show that the parity of parities attacks distinguishes two secrets with a constant advantage. Okay. And here is some more details for the advantage. We put that it is a constant for any k equal to two or three. And we also show that it is constant for small value of k uh, by experiment. And actually, the advantage is low bounded by the discrepancy of the eigenhole distributions as uh, p uh, tends to infinity. And uh, you know that the discrepancy of the eigenhole distributions is at least one by k factorial, uh, one by k factorial, if it not equal to zero. And also from the experimental results, we conjecture that the advantage is exponentially small in k. And as mentioned earlier, um, um, this is proven by a subsequent work. And um, lastly, uh, I want to remark that our text naturally extends to evaluation places that form a closed set of alpha, alpha square, um, alpha k. And when the number of parties is strictly greater than the reconstruction threshold, one can choose the remainder of uh, evaluation places arbitrarily and we can still get the same uh, advantage using the same kind of analysis. Okay. Uh, this concludes my talk. Uh, thanks you for listening. Um, if you are interested in uh, more details, you can take a look at the full versions is available at uh, this link. And thanks you again. Okay.